Wow, so the Lakers defeat the Bucks on the road, 133 to 129. Great game overall. I mean, from start to finish, it was a very interesting game. LeBron and AD got done. Westbrook off the bench was amazing. Guys like Lonnie Walker, guys like Troy Brown Jr., Patrick Beverly, winning Gabriel even. They all played pretty well today. And even on the Bucks side of things, I mean, they were pretty great too with Giannis. Chris Middleton coming back from, I think it was wrist injury or uh, wrist surgery. Drew Holiday, Brooke Lopez, I mean, all these guys played absolutely well. So we're going to go over the game talking about the Lakers and the Bucks. So what's up? My name is JDC. If you like what you see, drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. And let's just get right into it. So the Lakers on offense today were pretty great. I mean, LeBron James and Anthony Davis combined. I mean, they were absolutely amazing. Over 70 plus points between the both of them. So we'll get into it right now. Anthony Davis with 44 points, 10 rebounds and around 4 assists with three blocks in the game which was great and was a plus minus in the plus minus box score shot 18 of 27 from the field and two of three from three clutch in the fourth quarter clutch overall i mean anthony davis his defense today was really important for the lakers to win and even on offense he didn't take his first three until i want to say like the third or the fourth quarter but regardless he played pretty well today had a very efficient night from the field and overall i mean he's he was probably the lakers best player besides lebron james so We'll get to LeBron right now, 28 points, 8 rebounds, and around 11 assists with 2 steals on around 12-27 from the field and 3-6 from 3. LeBron today, absolutely amazing. Him and Anthony Davis in the pick and roll today was just spectacular, basically. I don't know, his perimeter game today was also great today. 3-6 from the 3, which is great. Offensively, he was great. Uh, Giannis did have a block on him in like the 4th quarter, I want to say, but that was pretty much in terms of LeBron making mistakes. He, I think he passed... Ma magic yeah he passed magic for all-time assists in the league so you know congrats to lebron but he played well today i think he played well today and the davis played well today they really needed the both of them to win over the bucks today and they got it done so we'll get into the other starters lonnie walker 14 points and two rebounds with one block patrick beverly with seven points four rebounds and two assists and troy brown jr with nine points four rebounds and three steals so all three of these guys i mean lonnie walker beverly and troy brown jr they actually played some pretty great defense today on the perimeter lonnie walker had i think it was a block on either grayson allen or drew holiday in the fourth Patrick Beverly played some great on-ball defense, some great perimeter defense. And Trey Bowden Jr., I mean, in the first quarter or around like the first half, he had a pretty great half where he was making a lot of his shots. And he played some pretty okay defense today too. So the starting five for the Lakers, it can definitely be mixed and matched. I mean, you can even add in Austin Reeves, Russell Westbrook if you wanted to. But I mean, having Westbrook off the bench, which we will be talking about later, gives them that scoring output that they need because i don't really think without westbrook off the bench this team doesn't really have you know an identity off the bench so uh, having westbrook off the bench gives them that i wouldn't say six man but a guy that can score off the bench essentially so looking at the bench we got i would i would say three guys to talk about today uh westbrook 15 points 11 assists and seven rebounds he played great today absolutely fantastic on offense he did miss two free throws to give the Lakers a, a bigger lead, but uh, regardless, he still played a bigger part in the fourth quarter. Had I think he dove for a ball in the half court, and it led to a LeBron assist to AD, which gave them the lead. So you know what, Russell Westbrook, you're gonna need a guy like him who's gonna give his heart out to the game, basically, give basically just play high energy someone that's going to play some great defense and westbrook today he absolutely brought that uh 6 11 from the field 02 from three three seven from the free throw line austin reeves seven points two assists and two rebounds with two of five from the field and one two from three winning gabriel five points six rebounds one assist and one steal i think gabriel played pretty well today especially on the defensive end gabriel he he's definitely an interesting guy on this team i probably wouldn't consider him more than a role player and you know that's fine but I would go out and probably get a better player other than winning Gabriel, but I think Gabriel has definitely been playing to his to the best of his ability, essentially. I mean, he's only averaging around five points and around four rebounds in over the season. So, you know, we'll see about winning Gabriel. Regardless, all the guys off the bench, I mean, Thomas Bryant gave them some good minutes in only four minutes, essentially. Kendrick Nunn, I mean, we won't really talk about him. Two minutes and had no points. I've had one rebound and one assist. So, you know, that's pretty much it. And overall, the Lakers as a team only had four turnovers, which was the best part about the game. They weren't turning over the ball at all. And I can't really list any mistakes that the Lakers made today other than, you know, some foul troubles or just fouling in general and overall just not making shots. 
that's pretty much it. They didn't really turn over the ball too often. And I think offensively, they were pretty much near perfect, if not perfect, in terms of, you know, running the offense, you know, guys cutting, guys setting off ball screens, on ball screens, and just using the screens overall. So I think, you know, the Lakers, they're definitely getting back on track. If you look at their last few games, I mean, they won against Milwaukee, won against Portland, won twice against San Antonio, won three times against San Antonio, and then won against Detroit and then Brooklyn. So I don't know. This Lakers team, they're definitely going to make a huge comeback in the probably the second half of the season. We'll see. I think with this game, they are going to be 10 and 12. So if we look at the NBA standings overall. Uh, the Lakers after this game should hopefully be in the playoffs. I mean, we'll see. So the Lakers, yeah, they should be either outside of the play-in or around the play-in. So we'll see what happens with the Lakers. Uh, we'll go over the Bucks here really quickly because I think they also played fairly well and they could have won this game if, you know, they made two three-pointers in the fourth. So Giannis, 40 points, seven rebounds and five assists with one block on 16 of 23 from the field and 0-3 from three. I don't know why Giannis was taking some threes today. I mean, he had one good open look, but he didn't make it. And he had a couple other three-point shots that weren't really that great of looks. But regardless, we're pretty okay. But he didn't make any of his threes. 8-11 from the field. He did get called for a 10-second free throw violation. So that's something to note right there. But Giannis versus AD tonight. I, I would say Anthony Davis got the better of Giannis. I mean, although Giannis played pretty well today, I think AD just played way better than what Giannis was. Although Giannis, like I said, played very well today for the Bucks and was honestly the best player. So uh, Drew Holiday, 28 points, six rebounds and nine assists. Was shooting the ball really great today. Six of 12 from three and 11 of 20 from the field. We got Chris Middleton coming back from wrist surgery. Like I said, 17 points, seven assists, around two rebounds and around six of 11 from the field and around three or four from three. And finally, Brooke Lopez with 13 points, seven rebounds and around one assist. So you know, the Bucks, they're great. I mean, after this game, they're going to be 15 and 7. But regardless, they're one of the top teams in the East. And, you know, their starting five is constructed very well. It's very well rounded with guys like Brooke Lopez, who can do essentially everything. Drew Holiday being a great perimeter defender, a great three point shooter, a good distributor. Grayson Allen being a good spot up shooter, even though he didn't really make too many of his threes today. Uh, Chris Middleton coming back from injury, which is finally great. And, you know, Giannis being the guy on the team. So off the bench. Bobby Portis, 15 points and 10 rebounds. So we'll see. The Lakers, they played very well today. Hopefully they can keep this up. They were on the road too. So if they can keep this up on the road, I think they're going to be probably a team to look out for in the West. So you guys can let me know what you guys think about the Lakers. That's the video. And peace.